I really want to keep today's video very simple, just us hanging out, just us talking about all the things. <laughs> no makeup today, no, no pretty shirt. It's just, you know, just me and you and hair. So shall we hydrate and begin? Hi, this is my monthly treatment. This is day, I think about day six hair. So I'm due for a wash. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to walk you through the process and share how I pretty much begin my hair routine, if you want to call it. So, so today I just rocked a bun. So I got to do a little bit of detangling. I mean, not too much, but hair's been up all day. No, all the grays are coming out. <laughs> Here's the star of the show. I credit a lot to this product. Ever since I've been using this product, I have noticed a substantial difference in my hair. This is a very well-loved product from Sisley. This is the, turn it over to the English side, the Reconstructing Nourishing Balm. It looks just like a balm. Because of my nails, these are like studs and stuff. I don't want to get the balm stuck in there. I am going to put gloves on um, just to make application nice and smooth. <laughs> and not my hair doesn't like tug on the rhinestones that I have all over my nails. Okay, so hair's detangled. I'm going to just section it out. I just use my fingers. I section about that much. All right. And... I'll take a little bit of the balm. About yay much. And I'm gonna split this section in two. And I'm actually gonna start mid shaft to ends. Just kind of pull that through. And then I have some more product left. Mid shaft to ends. This is not something I focus on my roots at all so I just pull it through and I pretty much just repeat that process all around my hair and it's gonna make my hair look nice and greasy <laughs> that means it's in there good okay so section one is done let's just put it down and I'm gonna just go around and repeat I'll show you for the front of my hair. I do give it like a little extra. I used to have really bad broken pieces along the perimeter of my hairline. And uh, between using this and another product that I'll share with you, it really helped my hair just come back to pretty much life and be strong. Sometimes I just kind of smear it all around and then I'll just distribute it evenly. So now we look like a greasy mess, <laughs> but that's what we want. I take some more product. I just, I have, you know, just kind of applied it all over my fingertips. So I don't touch the root. I just get cl a lot closer to like the front of my hair. And I just nicely go around just so that that area gets a little extra nourishment and treatment. All right, so my entire hair is coated nicely. Pretty much a little above mid shaft to the end, nicely. Okay, see, looks like so. <laughs> now again, this is something that I'm gonna sleep in, so I'm gonna share how I do that. These are like disposable shower caps, They're super cheap. I buy a big pack and it lasts me forever. So I'm gonna twirl my hair on top of my head. Okay. 
like so. And then put the cap on. Try to make sure I got all the hair in there. So everything can stay in and cook and marinate, penetrate, and just really give my hair a good treatment. And this is why I like to sleep in it. Yes, you can use this like your traditional, you know, hair mask, hair treatment, and just wear it for a little bit. But honestly, doing it like this for me has really helped my hair. Now you're probably like, okay, Mo, how do you sleep in that? Well, I am a proud member of the Bonnet Crew. Put on my bonnet. And that is me for the evening. I don't know what it is about being in a bonnet. I feel like it's very personal. I feel like I'm in my pajamas and no one's supposed to see it. <laughs> All right, you'll see me again in the morning and we'll continue my hair care pamper routine. Good morning. It's like 6.45 and I'm about to do my workout. Um, but I shared with you how I slept with my hair last night. So now I just have it up in a bun and I'm wearing my sweatband um, to contain whatever is left and so that, you know, we keep things separate. <laughs> Um, and then after this, I'm going to shampoo condition and you will see me when it's time to continue on with my routine and how I style and dry and all the other things that I do because yes, my skin is not the only thing I pamper. <laughs> Workout is complete. If you're curious how things held up, this is how they held up. Okay. So I got to quickly wash my hair. I got to take my daughter to school and then we'll continue the shindig. Yeah. So we are nicely washed and we are ready for our next step. In general, curly hair is most always more on the drier side. And a lot of people seem to think that you need to use a lot of product and you really don't. Less is more. So I only go in with a few products. So one of the first products that I go in with after I wash my hair is a leave-in conditioner. And this one is from Augustina Spotter. This is the leave-in hair treatment. I really dislike how messy the packaging is. I hope to see maybe this come in a pump. I go in with about, whoa, it's like running down my hand. I go in with about a quarter size amount. I massage it through my hands and I focus it on the ends first, then go up to mid shaft. And then I focus a little extra on the front, which is a little bit drier for my hair. And that's where I have like the most flyaways and such. So I run that through with my hands and then I'll go in and comb it through. Just so that it's nicely evenly distributed. So leave-in conditioner, product one. So I'll section Start off at the ends. Always make sure you get the back. Make sure the back feels included. Right? Woo! I got a lot of hair. I know you see that. <laughs> For years and years and years now, I have talked about scalp health. It is the best thing you can do for yourself and your hair. The overall health and just integrity of everything. So it's never too late to start. I know now it's kind of like a trend, but that's the thing with trends. It's the same thing that most have been doing that just comes back around. But anyhow, <laughs> you get it. So the scalp serum that I'm currently using is this one from Sisley. This one is amazing. It's one of the best. This has a special place in my heart because it's helped my hair so much. I had a bit of thinning and broken bits in my hair from stress and life, it happens. 
And that's really when I started using this and I noticed so much of a difference. The recommended usage is I think two or three pipettefuls of this. So what I do is I just section my hair and just, and I just run it down and lightly distribute it down onto the scalp. And you feel it because it feels a little bit cold and you kind of lightly just squeeze it. I always give like a little bit to this area because that's like my special area, my thinning area. I hate talking about it because I then start feeling conscious about it, but it happens, you know. And I feel that if you're going through it, I'm happy to recommend a product that I used and found great results with. And now once that has been applied to the scalp, take the balls of your fingers, never your nails or anything harsh to scratch your scalp and just lightly massage it. And this is like the best part. Ooh, yes. <laughs> All right, now the next product that I go in with is a heat protector. This one is from Sicily. This is their Cream 230, the Restorative Thermoprotective Action. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to section. So I do section into about four sections. I take a little bit of heat protector start off at the end and then bring it up and comb it through to evenly distribute the product and then I will well loosen my comb there and then I'll just clip that section out of the way and this makes it so much easier when you're blow drying to just keep things moving. And it also helps, you know, get all the right amount of product into the hair. So I'm going with like a little bit more because this is like a bigger section back here. All right, then I put product. Ta-da! All right, next we blow dry. So I dry my hair first with this attachment, and then I go in with the smoothing attachment to really get the roots and everywhere else. So, but what I will do is I'll kind of just pull and stretch my hair as I dry it to about like 70, 80%-ish. And you want to blow the hair in the direction that you want it to go to help prevent any unnecessary frizz. So I'm trying to keep the hair dryer straight downwards so that I don't like blow upwards, thinking that, that that's going to dry it faster when it's really just creating more frizz and, and such. I am also intentionally not focusing a lot of heat on the ends just to kind of preserve them as much as possible because I am going to hit them with the smoothing brush with this. So that's why if you're curious why I'm not um, focusing too much on the ends, that's why. So I'm about like 80% dry. I, you know, you can just go by the feel. I'll section that piece and then I'll repeat the process.
All right, so switching over to the smoothing attachment. Show you two different ways that I wear my hair. Most of you see me with my hair more on the curly end for my videos, but I do a lot of times just keep it more sleek and straight. So I'm gonna share both ways with you. So if you see a change of wardrobe, we did film on multiple days. So I've turned on my Dyson to 365. And this is the first one. This I guess is the oldest one. Still going strong, love this so much. If anything were to ever happen to it, I would immediately, and I mean immediately, have to replace it. The best. Anyhow, we've got that warming up. I'm gonna section my hair. Well, the method that I use to get my hair super sleek is the chaser method. I use this, you can also use a heat resistant um, small tooth comb. I got this on Amazon. But this is really what helps smooth everything because as soon as the heat is going through your hair it's also being combed so you can keep it nice and sleek and straight so I get a section not too big not too small and I just run the comb through first and then I'll grab my iron and again remember we have all our products in already heat protector all the things if you see any smoke it's not my hair it's the product so let me turn my head okay so Take, and I just give a little cur curve to the iron so that it's not completely bone straight. Ta -da. <laughs> the beautiful thing about this Dyson is it's really great for just one pass. I don't need to keep, you know, some irons you have to do that, but this one you don't. hair is super straight like this I do just put a little bit of oil I prefer using a very lightweight oil and the one I've been reaching for most <laughs> is this one from Augustina Spotter I like the packaging it's very similar to the serum and it looks like that so I do three let's do four drops today Focus it on the ends first. Then whatever is left, run it through everything else. And then get those little flyaways.
But other than that, that is my more sleek look that I do with my hair. All right, so we're all prepped. We're ready to go. I'm going to start off by drying my hair, and I'm going to go in with this attachment. Things are well over 80% dry. I'm going to switch this out to the smoothing attachment. I have the Dyson blow dryer and then I have this. And I'm telling you, both of them are very helpful. <laughs> your hair dries in half the time and you can feel the difference in your hair. Your hair doesn't feel damaged. Like you can tell that, I mean, of course, there's going to be somewhat of heat damage, but it's a completely better experience. <laughs> and it's, you can tell it's not as bad as like your typical blow dryers and stuff. Okay, so now I'm just going to go over with this and it'll also dry the little ends that are a little bit damp too. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> We're all dry. and kind of just settle in before I put just a smidgen, just a little tiny bit of oil. But this is what the finished hair looks like. It's very soft and silky and bouncy. Now I do not flat iron my hair again for a whole nother week. I will in between, let's say like day four, sometimes day three, depending on how heavy the workouts have been. Um, in between, I do use dry shampoo because after workouts, my scalp gets a little, you know, needs to be refreshed. So now that my hair is cooled off and it's sat for a little bit, I go in with just a little bit of hair oil. And this is the Augustina's Butter hair oil. And you don't need a lot of this because Hair oil usually will weigh my hair down a lot. So I do like three drops. So I think that was four, but not a lot. This is a very light oil. And then I'm going to flip my head forward and focus completely on the ends. And then whatever's left on my hands, I'll just smooth down my flyaways in the front. And less product is what really helps keep your hair fluffy and light. When you put a lot of product in your hair, it weighs it down. It doesn't allow it to be like bouncy and fluffy and it builds up a lot faster and your hair just gets greasy and looks dull and blah a lot faster. So I always find less is more. 
Of course, you'll adjust accordingly to hair type and porosity and all of those factors. One of the techniques or tools, well, yeah, hair product, I guess we can say, that I use during the week that helps me not reach for my flat iron or any hot tool is this. <laughs> I sleep with this every night and it helps me maintain my hair and it looks just like this in the morning. It looks refreshed and it looks great. I can literally get up and go. And for the mornings that I do my workouts, I put my hair up in a high bun and it holds it just fine too. And it's very, very easy to use. You so you just want to place it and put a little holder so that you, so that this thing doesn't move. And then when you do your pieces and wrap them around this, you can go as tight or as loose as you'd like. And that is what will help determine your curl pattern. So I go pretty loosely on the front because I like when my front area like swoops more than curls. And I just slowly get my pieces and do it around. And you just go all the way around. I don't want it to be too tight of a spiral, so I kind of loosen it. And then you fold down at the bottom and you put your scrunchie. Again, I want to go nice and loosely for the front just because of how I like to wear my hair in the front. Loose. I'd put my bonnet on and I go to sleep. And then when I wake up in the morning, nice and fresh. I, every night, sleep with this. And here's the best part of this. When you're ready to take it out in the morning, you just remove your little scrunchies, you unfold, and then you do this. And I just do like a shake. And I'm like a brand new woman that like just walked out the salon with my hair fresh. <laughs> Thank you all again so very much for requesting this video. Truly appreciate you guys. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any tips for us, comment them down below. I don't know it all. I'm always learning. I'm always open to learning more. Thank you again. Take a moment and give today's video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.